All right, good uh, Saturday afternoon for, for Christ uh, Church family. I wanted to come to you today, bring you a little message and let you know about a few things that we've changed um, to everybody comes in church tomorrow morning, won't be surprised to know what's going on. First of all, I wanna remind everybody about our FM transmission into the parking lot. Rachel scrolling around and showing the parking lot. We got plenty of room. FM 88.7, FM 88.7. It's the time of year where even if not dealing with COVID, if you got a sniffle or a cough and you don't want to be inside the sanctuary, you can hear it from anywhere in the parking lot on 88.7. We've got all of our signs up in compliance with the CDC. In the morning, one of my lovely kids, yes, it'll be probably child labor, but it's free. They'll be here to open the door for you to let you into the church so you don't have to touch the doorknobs. We'll come on inside. Church is decorated nicely for Christmas. You can see over here, we've got our hand sanitizer, uh, face mask if you need one. We ask you, if you would, when you're in the common area of the church, please wear your mask when you're inside. As you come on through the church, here's where you're gonna notice a few things different. So I don't want anybody to panic. I know change sometimes, people get a, a little bit excited about it, but we've took out a few pews. Rachel, scroll around and show them a little bit. Now, we have right at six feet in between each one of these pews. So that's why we don't have them marked off. So we're in compliance with our social distance. If you could, families continue to sit together and we'll try to alternate seating the best we can to be in compliance with social distancing. Follow over here, you think, where did the pews go? A couple of them we put out here in the overflow. We've had chairs out here for the last several weeks and we've had some families sit out here, but we figured this will be a little more comfortable with the padded cushion pews. And uh, so we're basically asking you to, to help us out the best you can and so we can continue to have church. Um, we're excited tomorrow morning for the Brent Rochester family. Uh, they'll be here for our 11 o'clock service. If you never heard Brother Brent and his family sing, you'll, you'll receive a blessing. And he's a fine preacher as well. So I'm looking forward to a good day tomorrow in the house of the Lord. We've also, for the last two Sundays, we had canceled our evening services. And we prayed about it, talked to the deacons about it, and uh, we will resume our Sunday evening service tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock. Uh, we have been studying through the book of Acts, and uh, actually certainly didn't miss church on Sunday evenings the last two Sundays, and we're excited to be back uh, in the house of the Lord tomorrow morning and tomorrow evening. So 11 o'clock and 6 o'clock. In between services, we'll come through and sanitize and clean everything up, and we'll stay safe again. I'm just thankful for the opportunity we got that we can gather together. The Bible tells us how important it is to not forsake our self assembly together. And uh, we're certainly looking forward to meeting with the Lord tomorrow morning here in his house. So again, I just wanted to bring you this little quick update to let you know where we're at, show you a few things have changed so you might not be quite so surprised when you're coming in. But we want to give God all the honor, all the glory. We've had uh, our attendance has been really well and we want to make sure people feel comfortable and people feel safe. So we're in compliance with the social distancing and again, if you need to sit out in the parking lot, toot the horn, let us know. Somebody will be out there that will come out and get your offering, your tithes and your offerings. We'll give you a, a bulletin. Well, if you have a prayer request, you can give it to one of the ushers. You'll be part of the church even though you're sitting out in the parking lot. So God bless each and every one of you. We love you and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning.